Good afternoon. I am Dr. Stephanie Cosner Burzen, and I have the honor to be the Dean of the College of Social Sciences Policy and Practice. On behalf of the faculty and staff of the college, I'm extraordinarily pleased to welcome you to these, the first ever graduate commencement exercises focused on the education, public health, and public policy graduates. We are pleased this afternoon to highlight your achievements as students and professionals. I am delighted to offer my congratulations to you, our graduates, and to your families. Your scholarship, dedication, and service make me, your faculty, and your loved ones proud. You are smart, idealistic, and successful. Those characteristics combined with your Simmons degree will serve you well as you continue your careers. It is particularly in times of stress, times like these past 15 months, that your Simmons education will shine through. As I reflect on the three professions represented here today, I am struck by the critical nature, even the urgency of your work. This pandemic has made clear in ways that perhaps nothing else could the impact of policy, the importance of public health infrastructure, and our reliance on our educators. My own experience with my children's education has driven home this last point. I feel deeply what I previously knew intellectually about our teachers and our schools, and particularly about the impact of each teacher on their students. There is much work to be done. Our experience over the last 15 months has made that abundantly clear. Our challenge, mine from where I sit as Dean and yours as newly minted master's graduates is to continue to push for equitable and effective policies that protect our communities and enable them to thrive. To reduce inequities in the healthcare system and in health services across the country and around the world. To provide all of our children with the opportunity to learn free from disease and free from the disease of oppression. I have confidence that your Simmons education will serve you well wherever your careers take you. Please keep in touch with your faculty and keep us apprised of how and what you are doing. I would like to recognize the contributions that your families and friends have made to your ability to reach this commencement day. This morning at the university ceremony, Simmons board chair Regina Pisa asked you to turn either where you sit or electronically and thank your family and friends. I ask you to do so again. I also take this opportunity to thank the faculty and staff who have supported you on this journey. And of course, to your peers, it is an incredible opportunity that you can share in this collective success. I am now pleased to welcome a student speaker to deliver remarks. After graduating from Indiana University Bloomington with a psychology degree, Kendall Saunders began work as a residential teacher at the New England Center for Children in Southboro, Massachusetts. At NEC, Kindle created individual education plan benchmarks, collaborated with parents and fellow educators to develop IEPs for students, and during the pandemic provided remote learning for students as home, at home as well as parent training. Upon conferral today, Kindle will have her initial license as a teacher of students with severe disabilities at all levels and the Sheltered English Immersion Endorsement from the Massachusetts Department of Elementary and Secondary Education. Please join me in welcoming Kendall to the screen. Hello everyone. My name is Kendall Saunders and I am a graduate from the Simmons New England Center for Children Autism Specialization Program. I am both pleased and honored to have been chosen as your student commencement speaker for the 2021 Simmons University Graduate Commencement Ceremony for the Social Sciences, Education, and Public Health programs. Thank you to everyone who worked so hard and made this possible for us. Thank you, Dean Burzin, for presiding over this smaller ceremony, giving us all the chance to celebrate our amazing accomplishments with our friends and family. Thank you to the administration, the professors, and our families who helped us get here. While our commencement ceremony this year is not traditionally what most of us are used to when we envision a graduation ceremony, nothing about this past year has been very traditional, but we should still be excited and happy to celebrate nonetheless. We may not be together physically, but we are still a community. We are strong and we will all move forward together and impact the community positively, just as Simmons has impacted us. 
We are resilient and have shown that strength through everything we have accomplished throughout our programs, especially this year. Because I am not physically in front of you giving this speech, you may not be able to tell that I am very nervous to be speaking before all of you right now. However, not half as nervous as many of us were last March 2020 when the world around us began to change drastically. I remember sitting in class and what I did not know at the time would be my last in-person class of my graduate career and getting the news that Massachusetts had declared a state of emergency due to COVID. I remember my amazing supportive professor trying her best to keep us calm and explain what was going on as best she could. At the time, none of us knew what the future would hold. The following year would be compiled of a whirlwind of news, emails, text alerts, Google searches, and phone calls, just about everything surrounding COVID. We held on to hope of flattening the curve and life returning to normal while we juggled school, work, raising families, classes over Zoom, pets joining Zoom meetings, and trips to the store hoping we could find toilet paper. Every single one of us has had a completely different experience since last March when the world around us began to change. But one question in the back of our minds was what is going to happen next? The spring and summer came and went and life continued to change minute by minute, hour by hour. We watched daily as numbers rose and the world continued to change. We watched as protests for equality turned into riots and felt as if the world was literally falling apart. The light at the end of the tunnel just seemed to not exist. It never truly felt like we would ever stop asking ourselves, what is going to happen next? After what felt like an eternity, we would enter what would be our last year of grad school where we would continue adapting to the world's changes. We all have our own stories to tell, our own experiences to share. The one thing that we all have in common is that we made it. We are here and today we celebrate an accomplishment that should not be taken lightly. You did it. We made it through and we deserve to be proud. We deserve to shout it from the rooftops. Whether you're celebrating this accomplishment with friends, family, or on your own, you did it. Some of us are moving on to work in our fields. Some of us are going back to school to further our education. Some of us are taking a much needed and well-deserved break and some of us have no idea what the future holds for us. The question of what is going to happen next is still there. It's still in the back of our minds and it may be there for a while. And for some, it may always be there. Remember the resiliency that we showed this year and carry it with you always. Just like we got through this past year and I got through this speech, we can do it. This year has shown us that we can do anything. It may not feel like it in the moment, but you will persevere and you will get through it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kendall. Your remarks have inspired us and reminded us that indeed what comes next may, may be unknown, but with the support of our communities, we can persevere and we can thrive. We wish you the very best. I'm now pleased to introduce Associate Professor of Practice Manakshi Verma Agarwal, who is the Assistant Director of the Master of Public Health Program to deliver faculty remarks. Professor Verma Agarwal's MPH and BA are from the University of Massachusetts at Amherst. Her work over the last 15 years has focused on racial justice, particularly in the healthcare system. As a consultant, her clients have included the Massachusetts Department of Public Health, Massachusetts League of Community Health Centers, and Brigham and Women's Hospital Center for Community Health and Health Equity. She sits on the board of the Southern Jamaica Plain Health Center. Professor Verma Agarwal has also worked with family foundations, small and large nonprofits, and startup organizations locally and internationally. While working in Mumbai, Professor Verma Agarwal conducted a citywide public health analysis resulting in systemic changes in the city's approach to patients' rights and regulations. Join me please in welcoming Manakshi Verma Agarwal. Thank you so much, Dean Berzin. To the very dear graduates of CUSP and specifically public health, public policy and education, heartiest congratulations on the beginning of your next chapter. I really hope you're feeling joyous about today. We're celebrating you and your hard work in making it through a rigorous program during a global pandemic, racial reckoning, and a shortage of yeast because everyone had to make sourdough bread. Maybe you were studying in your basement, hiding from snack-seeking children. 
Maybe you did your asynchronous work at your kitchen table instead of the library and spilled coffee all over your dying laptop. Maybe you multitasked through class because you were asked to do so much more at work. This success is yours and not just yours. Look around you. The people in your community, partners, parents, friends, children, fur babies, all wrapped you up in their love by cooking you meals to keep you nourished, snuggled with you during class, took over household chores so you didn't have to, and maybe listened to you talk about your capstone project just one more time, even though they wanted to go to sleep. Make sure you express your gratitude to them as they supported you in this new journey. You know, the birth of something new always comes after a difficult labor of love a lot of joy and a lot of pain simultaneously. You all are graduating at a time when it feels like the nation is laboring. Laboring the pain of our history, we are being faced with our racism, our sexism, our heterosexism, classism, and ableism. These are not just isms, but the real and lived experiences of our students. Those students who showed up to class every day, even though the material was difficult. We see you, we honor you especially when you felt you did not belong. As we labor, we are looking at, a, at both a mirror and a window. The mirror is showing us who we are. And yes, this is who we really are. And the window, while well, the window is showing us the possibility of who we can be, who we're meant to be, who we aspire to be, who will hold our hands as we walk through this new world together. This new world imagines that we all belong and race is no longer a social construct. Everyone has vaccines. The air is clean, the land is fertile, and the water is pure. With all of our pimples and dimples, we walk in this world together, and we are storytellers. The stories we share bring up the joy and pain and help us remember our ancestors and their journeys. You know, there may be distractions that prevent you from looking through this window. Toni Morrison said, the function, the very serious function of racism is distraction. It keeps you from doing your work. It keeps you explaining over and over again your reason for being. Someone says you have no art, so you spend 20 years trying to prove that you do. Someone says you have no language, so you dredge that up. Somebody says you have no kingdom, so you dredge that up. None of that is necessary. There will always be one more thing. So just remember that, that there will always be those distractions and you belong before you came here and long after you leave. John Powell said, we are entering the logical conclusion of the end of the period of European Enlightenment project of the isolated self. This reconnection, this look through the window is integration, not who am I, but who are we? This collective we to which you deeply belong is going to be the movement that we all bring to life together. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you so much, Professor Verma Agarwal, for those remarks. Thank you for the metaphor of the mirror and the window. Those images allow us to visualize this time of national and perhaps international reckoning, where our history has led us and where we together can direct our collective future. There's much work to do. And I know that your Simmons degrees and your Simmons connections empower you and us for that collective labor. We will now continue with the awarding of the degrees that President Wooten conferred this morning. These degrees were voted by the faculty and the Simmons University Board of Trustees and granted by the authority of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Graduates will be called in groups to start your videos. After your group's names have been announced, please stop your video. Will the candidates for the Masters of Arts in Teaching, the Master of Science in Education, please prepare for conferral. Family members, friends, loved ones, Simmons alumni, staff, faculty. I have the honor to present to you these candidates for the Master of Arts in Teaching and the Master of Science in Education. They have completed all the conditions of scholarship and residence required by the faculty. The graduates' names will be read by Professor Janet Chumley, Associate Professor of Practice and Director of the Education Programs at Simmons. Excuse me, Professor Chumley, I, could you unmute?
Group two, please turn on your cameras. For the Masters of Arts in Teaching. Lisabel Sarmiento Asuncion. Adriana Balas. Noah Cabral. Kaitsi Heller. Hannah Catherine Parlman. Olivia Postma Kiley. Alexandra Salvatore. Alexandra Nancy B. Soki. Hannah Marie Timmerman. Morgan Walker. Lauren Elizabeth Weigren. Congratulations to all of you. You may please, uh, you can turn off your cameras. For the Master of Science in Education, group three, please turn on your cameras. All right. All right. Lindsay Catherine Agra. In education. <laughs> Group three, please turn on your camera. Julia Aparicio. Alyssa, <laughs> Alyssa Jean Bassler. Victoria Marjorie Bayless. Janelle Lynn Bellrose. Gabrielle Alexandra Clark. Dylan Elizabeth Constantino. Jacqueline DeRosier. Caroline Dupuy. Shannon Elizabeth Egan. Shayla Farrell. Congratulations to all of you. And you may turn off your cameras. Group four, please turn on your cameras. Jill Fenneman. Aubrey Lane Frazier. Sarah Allison Goldstein. Morgan Nicole Gould. Sarah Green. Fiona Griffin. Emily Ann Hammerstrom.
Shannon Harrison. Helen Margaret Hedman. Cassandra Hostage. Courtney Elizabeth Howe. Shauna Kilcullen. Congratulations. You may turn off your cameras. Group five, please turn on your cameras. Natalie P. Kulongoski. Ashley Marie Leonardi. Rachel Ann Lindstrom. Danielle Alice McDonald. Amanda McVicker Corbett. Molly Ann McGoldrick. Laura Mink. Tess Ann Mooney. Lauren Joyce Murphy. Danielle Alice McDonald. Congratulations, everyone. You may turn off your cameras. Group six, please turn on your cameras. Jenna O'Hara. Kayla Emily Olson. Lillian Peddington. Sarah Lydia Perez. Tamira Roberts. Samantha Ariel Rosenfield. Molly Elizabeth Russell. And Lauren Elaine Russo. So congratulations, you may turn off your cameras. In group seven, please turn your cameras on. Kendall Saunders. Gina Saxena. Cameron Elena Skoletsky. Rachel Stout.
Jordan Weintraub. Alexander Ross Wish. Congratulations to all of you. You may turn off your cameras. Will the candidates for the Master in Public Policy please prepare for conferral? Family members, friends, loved ones, Simmons alumni, staff, faculty. I have the honor to present to you these candidates for the Masters in Public Policy. They have completed all the conditions of scholarship and residence required by our faculty. Director of the Division of Social Sciences, Public Health and Education and Director of the Program in Public Policy, Professor Benjamin Cole will read the names of the MPP graduates. Group eight, please turn on your cameras. Caitlin Mark Steiner. Molly Pauline Zeef. Congratulations to you both. You may turn off your cameras. Will the candidates for the Master of Public Health please prepare for conferral? Family members, friends, loved ones, Simmons alumni, staff, faculty. I have the honor to present to you these candidates for the Master of Public Health degree. They have completed all the conditions of scholarship and residence required by our faculty. Professor Quatrochi will read the names. Group nine, great job turning on your cameras already. Christina Emily Ketchum. Damian A. R. Lima, Betsy Lorenzo, Nicole Taikef, Jennifer Michelle Ware. Congratulations, MPH graduates. You may turn off your, your cameras. This brings us to the conclusion of Simmons University's College of Social Sciences Policy and Practice Graduate Education, Master of Public Health, and Master of Public Policy commencement exercises. Congratulations to our new alumni and to your family and friends. On behalf of the trustees, faculty, and staff of the university, I wish you the best of health and all the success in the world. Please take care of yourselves and your loved ones. Thank you to our guests for being part of this wonderful celebration. Congratulations, everybody.